minus 28 feels like minus 40 with the wind chill. out the helmet camera on a on a goggle mount for snowboarding to see what the exposures like and stuff in the sun with the reflection off the snow that I'm the only one out here. I'm using the POV1, uh, VIO POV1 helmet camera. It does up to 780 by, sorry, 720 by 480, um, which is about DVD quality. The video itself doesn't necessarily look uh, DVD quality, especially when you ride a motorcycle, because it it tends to focus more on stuff that's closer to you but it's pretty decent and uh, I just recently uploaded something to YouTube which I upscaled to be um, 1280 by 720 which is their high def standard 720p and it looked okay so because they downscale it again to fit uh, a 640 by 360 display so even though I upscaled it and made it look crappier, when they downscale it again, it, it looks okay. Here's the DVR section of the of the camera. It's Not going anywhere anytime soon. Just a couple of extra things that I should mention about uh, the POV1. First of all, the pros. Um, one uh, has one cord, single cord for uh, audio and video. Uh, and it does have an external uh, microphone input, but you'd have to uh, cut away, like cut a hole in the bottom of the card port in order to access it. Um, second thing is it's got a pretty good resolution. 720 by 480 is pretty decent. Um, it's about DVD resolution, although uh, the DVD quality is not quite there. I'll get to that in a bit. Um, it's compact. It's like really, it's pretty small. You can fit the DVR in your pocket, and attach the helmet camera to your helmet, and just stick the cord up in your helmet as well. Um, it's durable, except for the SD card cover, uh, and I'll get to that in a minute too. Um, and another bonus is that it's it's on top of your helmet, not in your helmet, so it's not pushing up against your nose. Now, a couple of the cons are, uh, one is it, it's pretty expensive, um, but if you get a separate DVR and, and a separate bullet camera, you're you're going to be looking at about the same price anyway. Um, second, it, it, it encodes directly to XVID MPEG-4. Uh, it's lossy format, so the quality isn't quite as good as it could be. Uh, they, I would like if they had an option to turn off, um, turn off lossy encoding and just go uh, raw encoding. Um, uh, another thing, another con is that the SD cover 
will break unless you remove it properly every time. Um, you're going to be really tempted to just pull on the screw to open the, the port, but if you pull on the screw it will eventually weaken the plastic and break and then it's no longer water resistant, <coughs> like mine. Uh, another thing is that <coughs> excuse me, I've contacted POV uh, a couple times, Biosport a couple times, to try and um, figure out if they're going to have HD support and I can't get a straight answer from them. Uh, they say that they're looking into it and when I ask is it going to be a matter of a new head or is it going to just be a firmware upgrade that I can download and up update my player, uh, they won't tell me. Uh, I've been asking since YouTube started uh, outputting in HD and I can't get an answer from them. I, I can't see what they have to lose by answering. Uh, I mean, they're not exactly going to be the first company to be out on the market with an HD player, so why are they why are they so hush hush about it? I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, that's it. So it's overall, it's a it's a really good camera, especially if you're just uploading videos to the internet. You can still upload videos to um, YouTube in in high quality with a couple of you know by upscaling the video, and it looks pretty decent. So that's it. It's my helmet camera review.